Hello, one and all true comic book readers out there. I'm Mike from Comic Frontline, my brother Chris. Yep. And welcome to my comic book review of a issue number one comic book from the all new Marvel Now. And I thought I'd given this a try. And believe it or not, I gave Loki, Agent of Asgard, issue number one a try. I thought, you know, Thor's brother, mysterious and mischievous person who either love or hate. But I thought of checking him out. And since this is issue number one, I have the writer and artist right here. The writer is Al Ewig, and the artist is Lee Gerbit. So it starts off uh, where um, Loki is doing his mischievous things along with talking to uh, the All Mothers, which are Gura, Fuja, Aiden, who are mission givers. And he goes to. Uh, where Thor is, and uh, by the way, there are other people at the Avengers Tower as well. And uh, artwork's a little bit sketchy, but not in a bad way. It's actually in a pretty good way. Like, there's some parts where it's sketchy, and there are other parts where it's uh, pretty good. So it's like a half and half thing. Thor is drunk a little bit, and uh, not acting like himself, and for those of you who have read Gods of Thunder, uh, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about, and uh, they actually talk a little bit about, uh, you know, Namor of uh, years ago, of uh, how he was, and how he was a villain, so, uh, you know, he's just saying, you know, all that of what I've done, you know, that's in the past of stealing the artifact, you know, and uh, Thor, Captain America, and Iron Man don't believe that. And uh, Loki tells Thor uh, what Iron Man told him about the uh, how he promised that he would uh, wipe the DNA of uh, what Thor uh, gave him. And uh, you know, and, Thor, and Thor's like um, really mad about that. And Iron Man's like saying, "Don't believe it." And there's this one funny page where. Um, Hawkeye fires the arrow, and Hulk says, but I'm always angry, because they tried to tell him not to get angry, and I thought that was funny. And, uh, throughout this whole issue, um, they just want to know what Loki's up to, and there's one thing I didn't like about Thor in this issue. He suggests everyone to kill Loki, and everyone's like, what? Like, what are you talking, what, what the hell are you talking about? We don't kill and they want to know why he's acting like very evilish, and we find out why. After Loki stabs him with um, a knife, I uh, forgot what it was called. Um, like he uses that to uh, get rid of the uh, like this red uh, stuff that was in him, and uh, oh, the sword is Graham, basically. And he puts it in the jar, and so that way no one else will be contagious to uh, being a bit, uh, being different. And there's a little brother moment with Loki and Thor talking, and in the end, let's just say the old mothers gave Loki what Thor had, and this happened. Now Loki is going to do what Thor did, being very villainish, and has to be continued. Next time in Loki issue number two, but I read this and I was like, wow. And to be honest, I thought I wasn't going to like this issue. I actually like this issue. And with that, I'm giving this a between a 4 to 4.5 out of 5. Um, good artwork, great story. Can't wait to see what happens in issue number two and uh, what Loki's uh, plans are for the future with the old mothers being the mission givers to see what they have in mind. And, uh, I would say check this out for issue number one. If you like mischievousness, whether you love them or hate them, just definitely check this out if you want to. And that is my uh, comic review of Loki, issue number one from the all-new Marvel Now. Do not forget to check out Comic Related and ComicFrontline.com. Number one sources for comic news, reviews, and a whole bunch more. Subscribe to Comic Frontline today to uh, find out tons of videos that we have for you guys. And comment below of your thoughts of Loki, if you've read it, and if you haven't given it a try, and you gave it a try because of what I said of the recommendation, 
let your voices be heard because I love to hear comments from you guys as well as trying to get back to you as soon as I can because we all have busy lives outside the county. Right? Yes, right. So, Mike from Comic Frontline with my brother Chris in the background. Yep. Don't want you cop agrees out there. Take care, keep watching. I'll see you guys in another video. Take care, everybody. Later.